Indeed, uh, Matt. Good morning, uh, Dan, and uh, Europe as well. Yeah, a, a lot of color at this parade uh, behind me here. Uh, these are the civilians, I guess, 300,000 of them. Before that, we had the military, the tanks, the fly past, the planes, etc. And before all of that, to kick things off, we had President Xi making that keynote uh, speech. And the key takeaways for me is one, that no force can stop China. The second thing that caught a lot of attention was uh, his emphasis on uh, doing things together, uh, unity or unification, bringing all Chinese together. And that was interesting because he had another part of the speech where he focused a lot on this, specifically this uh, idea of peaceful reunification to do with Hong Kong as well as to do with Macau. Take a listen to him. Forging ahead, we must remain committed to the strategy of peaceful reunification and one country, two systems. We will maintain long-term prosperity and stability of Hong Kong and Macau, advance the peaceful development of cross-strait relations, unite the whole country, and continue to strive for the complete unification of our country. So this whole idea of peaceful reunification emphasized several times by uh, President Xi. It's going to be interesting to see what uh, China experts uh, have to say when they uh, look a little bit deeper into that, perhaps read it between the lines, because we've been talking about how the crisis, ongoing crisis in Hong Kong, could be casting a shadow over these uh, celebrations. And the fear had been there could be Beijing, rather, China could be on the brink of a much more aggressive and forcible response to the demonstrations uh, and protests and violence in China. So far, of course, it's uh, been left to the Hong Kong police to deal with, and uh, that's been uh, patchy at best. But we were talking early on about reports. This is from Reuters, according to uh, a sourcing to source to foreign envoys, that troop levels, Chinese troop levels in Hong Kong, very recently have more than doubled. You remember we talked about this troop rotation? Well, foreign envoys have been telling Reuters that it's less of a rotation, more of a reinforcement. So not five, 6,000 troops, up to 10, 11, 12,000 at this stage, which is making a lot of people nervous. But uh, these uh, phrases that President Xi uh, has been using, or used earlier this morning about peaceful unification uh, should calm at least some nerves. Guys, back to you. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.